Atmospheric Gauge Tank. This module introduces the Atmospheric Gauge Tank, a vital component in surface well testing operations. It begins with an overview of the tank and its role in measuring and temporarily storing produced fluids under atmospheric conditions. The module details its applications in flow measurement and fluid sampling, followed by its key features that support accuracy and safety. Learners will also gain insight into important selection criteria for choosing the right gauge tank for specific testing environments. Finally, the module covers operation and safety guidelines to ensure reliable usage and prevent operational hazards in the field. The atmospheric gauge tank, a non-pressurized vessel, is used to measure low flow rates or to calibrate metering devices on the separator oil lines in a testing system. When the flow rate is too low to efficiently drive oil to the burners, the tanks can temporarily store the oil. These skid-mounted units have two compartments. As a transfer pump empties one compartment, the other is filled. A sight glass level built into each tank is used to calculate the change in volume based on the physical dimensions of the tank. Applications The gauge tank is primarily used for storing liquids, especially in conditions where pressure is low. It also plays a crucial role when large sample volumes are required, ensuring we can handle and analyze fluids efficiently during testing. When dealing with low flow rates, the gauge tank allows us to accurately meter the liquid, providing precise data that is critical for operational decisions. Moreover, by using the gauge tank, we can calculate the volume correction factor at the tank to calibrate separator oil meters. This includes calculating both the meter factor and the shrinkage factor, which are vital for ensuring measurement accuracy in the field. Let's go over some of the key features of the atmospheric gauge tank. These tanks are skid-mounted for easy transport and setup, and they come with either one or two compartments. In the case of dual compartments, the operation is seamless. While one compartment is being emptied by the transfer pump, the other is being filled, allowing for continuous flow without interruption. To monitor the liquid level, each tank is equipped with a built-in sight glass. This lets us visually track volume changes, which can be calculated precisely based on the tank's physical dimensions. Now let's take a look at the safety features of the atmospheric gauge tank. Each tank is equipped with two flame arresters, one installed on each vent, to prevent any external ignition sources from reaching the contents. A grounding strap is also in place to discharge static electricity, reducing the risk of sparks during operation. Lastly, the tank is designed with a shearing roof, which acts as a safety relief to prevent overpressure, helping to protect both the equipment and personnel on site. While the atmospheric gauge tank is considered standard equipment in well testing, it has a major limitation. It cannot be used when H2S is present in the effluent. That's because the gas released from the tank is vented directly into the atmosphere, creating a serious hazard for personnel nearby. As a result, this type of tank is rarely used in offshore well testing operations today. Instead, it has been largely replaced by surge tanks, which offer better safety and containment. The flame arrester is a critical safety device fitted to the gas vent line opening. Its main purpose is to allow the flow of gas while at the same time preventing flame transmission, which could pose a serious hazard. The flame arrester functions by absorbing the heat from a flame front, that be why doing so, it drops the temperature of the burning gas air mixture below its auto ignition temperature. Consequently, the flame cannot survive, and the system remains protected from the risk of backfire or explosion. This simple yet essential mechanism plays a vital role in ensuring safety in environments where flammable gases are present. The heat is absorbed through channels or passages designed into an element. These channels are chosen and measured as the maximum experimental safe gap of the gas for a particular installation. These passages can be regular like crimped metal ribbon or wire mesh or a sheet metal plate with punched holes or irregular such as those in random packing. The gauge tank is fitted with butterfly valves on both its inlet and outlet. 
The butterfly valve is a type of quick-opening low-pressure valve. Its orifice is opened and closed by a disc that pivots on a shaft positioned in the throat of the valve. With just a quarter turn of the handle, the valve moves from a fully open to a fully closed position. This simple operation makes butterfly valves ideal for fast and efficient flow control, especially in well-testing setups where quick response is essential. Selection Criteria The principal criteria for selecting a gauge tank are if the project requirements specify that a surge tank is required, a gauge tank is usually not needed. Storage requirements for some jobs may require more than one gauge tank. The service type required, operating environment, does not allow the use of a gauge tank when H2S is present. Additional selection considerations are extensions, flexible plastic hoses, for the gas vent lines are required. High oil flow rates can cause excessive pressure that will burst the safety seams on the tank. Operation and safety guidelines. The gauge tank is never used when H2S is expected to be in the well effluent. The gas from the gauge tank is vented to the atmosphere, so any H2S in the gas could endanger personnel. Before diverting the separator oil to the gauge tank, you must check the ability of the gas vent lines to discharge the full volume of gas liberated when the pressure drops from separator to atmospheric pressure. When diverting the oil to the tank, it is important to always limit the flow rate. This helps to avoid filling the tank too rapidly, which can be dangerous and difficult to control. In cases where the flow rate is high, someone must constantly monitor the liquid levels in the tank. They should also be ready to immediately divert the flow back to the burners if needed. This is crucial to prevent any risk of overflow, which could lead to safety hazards or operational issues. When using the gauging ports, always start by checking the gas vent lines. Make sure that a significant amount of gas is not being vented through them. If you notice heavy gas venting, it's safer to delay measuring the liquid levels. Or, if it's necessary to proceed, wear a protective mask. In fact, whenever you're measuring liquid levels through the gauging ports, it's always a good practice to wear a mask. This small precaution can make a big difference when dealing with potentially hazardous vapors. Before performing any repair work inside the tank, it is absolutely essential that the tank is properly steam cleaned and fully degassed. This step ensures that no flammable or toxic gases remain inside, creating a safe environment for maintenance. In addition, the person entering the tank for repairs must maintain constant contact with someone stationed outside. This isn't just a precaution, it's a critical safety requirement to ensure immediate help is available in case of emergency. When transporting the gauge tank, always ensure it's empty. Even a partially full tank can weigh significantly more than an empty one, making it difficult and potentially dangerous to move. Never lift the tank by the top lifting eyes. Doing so places stress on the tank walls and can damage the roof safety seam, which is critical for safe operation. Instead, always use the anchor shoes on the skid. They're specifically designed to support the tank's weight during lifting and transportation. Thanks so much for watching. That wraps up today's presentation. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us keep creating more content like this. See you in the next video.